Self? I am. I never thought I would see gruff old Gunner so enraptured by a woman. Enraptured by anything, for that matter. He's a hard one to read, but I am pleased for him, and for this day of rest and respite. After everything, a few days of feasting will do the people some good. They need this. They do. Will you walk with me? Anywhere. Lead on. Something has been on my mind for some time. I am no seer, but I foresaw this day long ago. Not Gunnar's marriage, but our situation. Our success. How do you mean, our success? I mean to say that I saw our settlement flourishing, through our victories in war and in diplomacy. And from the day we set out from Norway, I knew that you would make a fitter leader than Sigurd. It was never in his character to lead. It was always within yours. I see. Do you? You might have warned me. You would not have listened. Fair. I do hope you see it now, in all that you have done for us. Ranvi, you and the people here have done more for me than I could ever repay. I am honored by your faith in me, and your confidence. As I am honored by your friendship. And I by yours. Eivor, I want you to know that Sigurd and I are... We are severing the bonds of our marriage. We share a love that is steadfast, and I have faith it will forever be so. But it is not the love of a wife and her husband. It was not an easy decision. But after we talked with honesty, we embraced more warmly than we have in a great while. I think we will be happy. I hope so. And I am pleased for you. I am pleased for myself. Sigurd's desires are bigger than any man or woman can offer. He longs for something more. What about you? What are you looking for? I have all I need right here. With you. With our people. I want to say, Ranvi, I love you. And I have for some time. I did not pursue it, not wanting to betray my brother's trust. But that does not mean I did not desire it. Does that surprise you? Gods, I worried you saw me as a woman starved for the affection of her husband. ...that it was loneliness driving me. But it was you, Eivor. Only you. Everything you are, everything you will become. Ranvi... ...without you, I would have lost my way a thousand times. I never told him outright, but I doubt he will be surprised. I think he may have suspected it even... ...some time ago. If he suspected it, he never said anything. He is more observant than I often give him credit for. I believe he sees us as we are, and as we hope to be. We can wait to tell him. Give it a few days, when the feasting is over and everything is settled. Agreed. I've waited long enough for you, and you for me. What is another few days? The blink of an eye. Shall we find our way back to the wedding? Bridget might give another speech. We must not miss that. About that, I have not understood a single word of hers since Gloucestershire. Really? I find she speaks beautifully. With poetry, even. Are you kidding? Am I? Come, we should go.